Peter Bonnaroo. Is that Neil Young? Yeah, last time was was a uh, train wreck, and it was our fir one of our first outdoor shows ever, and so we didn't really know how to do that. We had never done a festival show like that with a fast changeover, and we were really nervous. And just as our show was about to start, right during sound check, like every kind of thunder and hail and lightning starts crashing down. Oh man! And like everyone in the festival ran in under our tent regardless of whether they cared about the music at all. My, my brother actually turned me on to him. My brother isn't in the music business at all, but just has, is like a Ben Soli fanatic. So I was like, who is this guy? And then I saw him at Newport Folk Festival playing with Jim James. And he was playing not just cello but bass and some other stuff and, and then I, I've seen him hanging around and and so uh, yeah so it's a, it's a new you know hopefully with a lot of potential Seven thirty-seven. Yeah, seven thirty-seven. It's just a gorgeous video. Yeah, that was done by our friends in England. Yeah. Uh, we didn't we didn't really design it or anything, but they got they hired some circus wire walkers and set them up in the woods and went out in the woods in like northern Scotland yeah, and France. yeah. <laughs> but I think they all had fun making it. They made a beautiful video. It looks like something the Coen Brothers would do. You know. Amazing. Emmy is such a wonderful spirit and she brings her two dogs with her and they have like little backstage passes on them they run around and uh, and somehow they don't knock over any of the like um, really expensive mandolins and fiddles that she has all over her stage. She's also got a Nashville band like one of the best Nashville bands you'll ever see those guys are so good. Also gone on tour with Ray LaMontagne, and his band has a similar, uh, just like world class. It's amazing to watch people like that. They they're working with skills that we don't have, you know. Out, outdoors, we've tried it before. It really only works for the whole audience to do it if it's indoors in a live room. Like even in a small club, it doesn't really work. You hear a dry chirping, but what really works is in a big theater with natural acoustics. Also from stage, it's beautiful because you can see in the dark like a sea of little lights. It sounds like digital cicadas or something, but outdoors it doesn't really work. 